Hello everyone. In the last video, we saw how to create a simple login application using UI text fields and a login button. We saw also how to hide the keyboard when we tap uh, on an invisible UI button covering the screen area. In this video, we will see how to hide the keyboard when we tap on the return button. And for the password field, we will change this return button title and we will override its behavior to perform the login action. To do this, we need to implement the delegate, the UI text field delegate methods. Delegation is a design pattern used to handle messages between the delegating object, in this case, this will be our UI text field, and the delegate object, which will be our view controller. So we go to our viewcontroller.h file, we add the UI text field delegate, then we go to, to the implementation file. Here we can see the UI text field delegate methods. We have, for instance, the did begin editing, did end editing, the should return. This method, methods will be called on the delegate object, which is our view controller. So when we tap on the return key, the text field should return will be called and it will send the text field object to this method. So for instance, when we are interacting with our username field and we tap on the return key, this will call the should return method and will send the, the username field to this method. So this will return yes. And here we should call the resign first responder method on our text field. But before we, we run the app, we need to set the password text field and the username text field delegates to self. Copy past this line and change to password field. Okay, run the app. Now, when we tap on the return key, this will hide the keyboard. Now, for the password text field, we will change the return button title and we will change its behavior to call the login action. So, we go to our storyboard file, we select the UI text field element, and here we have the text field properties. We have the return key and multiple possible values for the return key. For the login, we will select the go. In the .m file, we'll check first if we are interacting with the password field. So if text field not is equal to self password field. Here we should go the perform login method set the sender to near. Okay, let's run the app. We enter the credentials. Here clicking will just return the keyboard and here you can see that the return title changed to go. We enter the password and when we tap on the go button this will perform the login action. Okay, another problem we may face is that the keyboard may, may hide the uh, UI text field element. So sometimes when we our text field is in the bottom, 
The keyboard will hide it and you will not be able to see what you are typing. To prevent this problem, first let's move down this text field to see what happens. Okay. Now the keyboard is hiding the text field. Okay, to fix this, we need to use the text field did begin editing method and the text field did end editing method. We will translate our views. When we start editing on the password, we'll translate the view to the top and when we add editing, we will move it back. Okay? So here... Ah, no. This should be did and, and not should and. We did an edit. Okay. Now we need to implement a method that will translate the view. So this will return void. Can we translate? Translate to UI view. In a direction. So this will be a boolean is up and the distance to translate. Okay, that's what we need. Okay. Now, first we need a movement duration for the animation. This will be a const float movement duration for example this can be go to second we need also to determine in which direction we should move the view so this will be movement direction it depends on the is up variable so if is up we will move by minus distance as we will move with a positive distance okay now we should begin our animation give it a name a name we don't need the context, we set that to nil. We should set the animation to begin from the current state. Now you set animations begin from current state, yes. Then we need to set the animation duration. Our movement duration. Okay. Now we we'll use the frame property of the view, which contains information information about the origin and the size of our view. So we need to edit this frame property with the CG rect offset method we will move our view the frame by zero on the x axis and the movement direction actually it's, it's not movement direction it's a, it's a movement by the movement on the y-axis 
and all we have to do now is to commit the animations okay so when we begin editing on the password text field so first we need to check if this is the password text field if this is the password field so we will translate our our view app this will be self that view direction is up yes distance 80 for instance okay same thing when we add editing we need just to set this to now so that this will be moving down okay let's run the app so here is our password field moving up when you add editing it will go back go back to its initial state okay thank you for watching see you on the next tutorials bye bye